Yeah. You want to hey. do it like that? You want to walk in? We can start it. You can walk in. Do that. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. <laughs> we can start that motherfucker. Uh, 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 uh. We in that motherfucker. Chair, sure, we going? Yeah, man. So, yeah. What we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to nigga, sound cool. Hey, nah, nigga, nah, like I said, nigga, before the cameras came on, Lou, mm -hmm. you the future of this comedy shit. Oh, man, I appreciate it, man. Because yes, man, we going to go together. We better together. You come on. Me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah, mama. Yeah. It's the Kelly Kickback, man. You understand <laughs> me? It's your boy, Louis Belt. You know. It's another episode yeah. of some player shit. Come on. <laughs> you know? <laughs> wow, so be quiet. What's happening? Shit. Cooling, cooling like a fan. Yeah, they yeah this man. I like that, yeah, man. Yeah. Rest in peace, my boy Teddy Ray, man. Yeah. This with the LA hat folk. Come on. You understand me? We, sh we shooting in LA. You understand me? But that's my, my dog hat, man. You understand yeah. me? Rest in, pay rest in peace, my player partner. But you know I'm Playboy from the Bay Boy. You understand me? <laughs> Don't ever get it <laughs> twisted, man. We five hour drive from LA, man. <laughs> We're from a whole different soil, man. We connected to <laughs> LA, man. These yeah. my cousins out here man you feel man, i got a special guest in the building man you got a special guest one of my ogs straight from the town man he paved the way for comedians like myself i know it ain't who i think it is he paved the way it ain't no comedian yeah. that came out of oakland before yeah. him yeah come on come on man come <laughs> to the motherfucking couch my dog mark curry man <laughs> Jesus Christ. You have to push me, son of a bitch. Who's the dude who pushed me? Hey, we here breaking God, shit every hey, day. Hey, 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 we hey, stole the nigga that pushed me. Oh, bro, he <laughs> trying to get paid. He trying to, he trying to sue somebody. Oh, I, I ain't lying to do that. Go on. Whoa, who is that? Was that hey. a man or a woman? What is going on? You don't do that shit to a legend. That's right. We don't do that no more. Oh yeah. my mama, What's where going you where on you, in here? you just landed like you just flew out of the sky and hey, landed hey, in LA hey, from that, Oakland. You know it. Hey, I was bipping. I was out there. Ah, what you know about the bipping? <laughs> what you know about bipping? We created bipping. <laughs> they, these youngsters think they did something. Yeah. What? We had loud punks back in the 90s and 80s. <laughs> 1980s. We had loud punks. What? Going up to Cal Berkeley. I had a Volkswagen with a bow punk in it. <laughs> what? We just started that. We didn't what? That's what's wrong with the OG. <laughs> They swear they made it up. We Why did not start Coliseum. breaking in windows right. in the 80s? We had to open the Coliseum. It wasn't oh, enough cars in the 80s for y'all to be breaking what? in. We didn't have to. We was, we, was, we could get in there. We didn't have to break the windows. <laughs> so Take got, the whole car. Yeah. Oh, it's aggression. Yeah. It's, it's aggression. an art. <laughs> had more finesse back in the day. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> How you guys doing? Man, I'm good, good man. Guys, man. Glad good you was able to make Teddy it, man. God bless you, baby. Come for on. sure, for sure, Teddy man. Ray, we, we riding for you, baby. Hell yeah, yeah, we gonna keep yeah. it lit. And we yeah. gonna get some more money, get these mics. Hell, stay, stay up. Yeah, <laughs> man. What, what's going on, man? We, you came over here. You just flew out of the sky. I feel like Oakland. this is a porno. This is like we in a porno. Man. <laughs> hey, the bag is yours. They shoot porn. They shoot porn over here. Hey, hey, it goes down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, anything, anything under the sun, we could get it done around this motherfucker. They got backwoods 101. You see. You can tell that youngster, they got a book, Backwards 101. <laughs> How to start off with Backwards. First, open the package. Mmm, smell that aroma. There's about six of them in there. Unroll them. Take your time. <laughs> it's Backwards 101. That's right. Like backwards. <laughs> I did a little Nike box. I like that, the little Just Do It. Uh -huh. yeah. Zoom in on that. Um, they don't have Zoom here. I'm sorry, everything is stationary. Yeah, this is this, <laughs> yeah, this, this a porno set. They do porno. This, ain't, they do porno. this ain't Mr. Cooper. Yeah, you can <laughs> it's a porno set. We don't got all nobody. porno in here. You can tell. <laughs> we, gotta, we just got to find some holes. We, we, right. we missing some holes. You know right doing porno because you know on the ground you look as a Capri Sun. So, what this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. You gonna bring a legend on and it's Capri Sun on the floor. <laughs> yeah. And what kind is it? And it's a strawberry yeah, kiwi. Capri Sun. No. That's kiwi. that one. Strawberry kiwi. Look, look, that's the hood you favorite can right there. That's that kiwi. <laughs> that's a kiwi. That's that a mean, kiwi. You didn't give him one. No, he did it. <laughs> You can tell he thirsty. That was a kiwi. He didn't even give me one, motherfucker. You a, you a Kool-Aid drinking. This before your time. This after yeah. your time. Kool-Aid, let's pimp the game. Kool-Aid mm -hmm. was nothing but pixie sticks watered down. 
Real shit. The game is strong. Sugar was the addictive quality at the time. All right, quick question. So, yes. Kool Aid or Tang? Kool Aid or Tang. Which Same one? Same thing. Same thing. They is Same okay. Thing. Mm -hmm. Tang used to go crazy. Still a sugary drink yeah. that had you amped up in school. <laughs> oh, man. Wonder why you at the principal's <laughs> office. He has problems. No, it's yeah. too much sugar. Hey, Kool Aid was bad too because bitches was uh, was dying their hair with Kool Aid. They was. I forgot about that. People stopped Kool -Aid. doing that, huh? I think some bitches in the hood still, probably like in, in Watts nah. and the Projects, they still doing it? Oh, yeah, in the wow. Projects. What yeah. a great topic. <laughs> bitches who <laughs> dyed their hair with Kool-Aid. We'll be right back <laughs> with this. Hi. Do you need to dye your hair? <laughs> what the, how did that come up? No, because I thought about it. Bitches who dyed their hair with Kool-Aid. That'd be a good book. <laughs> on me you think so yeah. white people would read it I'm in yeah. every yeah yeah they're oh my god it. this is so creative I said, <laughs> Tatiana was so <laughs> clever <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah she really was what is Kool-Aid <laughs> Kool -Aid. White, people know, <laughs> white people know what Kool-Aid is. It's a mixture of black people's choice <laughs> for their beverage. Like, <laughs> nigga, mama. what, bitch? Kool-Aid been around since slavery, I think, nigga. I'm telling you, wow. black people have to figure it out. I love it. I because love it. because who else going to come up with Kool-Aid, my nigga? I love these quotes. Because they had grape Kool-Aid. Okay. Which okay. go crazy. Okay. What's the most popular one? Uh, I think I, I think like that. Fruit, Fruit Punch. Punch. For yeah. sure. Fruit punch. Fruit, punch. Fruit punch. That gotta be yeah. the one. That's what we'll take a survey. We'll be right back. <laughs> what was the most popular Kool Aid? Yeah, y'all put a comment. What was the most popular Kool Aid? <laughs> hey yeah. man, but I'm I could, my mama. But I couldn't wait to say this on camera. Uh, Mark Curry, um, as a young individual from Watts, well, my mama she had the basic TV channels, and right, right. And, we all had them channels. And growing up, you really shaped my childhood. We'll hang with Mr. Cooper, and um, I just want to say thank you for being you and, and giving a person from the hood like something to look at and want right. to be like, and, and and just being fucking funny, just being an example of a real solid man wow. and being fucking you. funny. Oh, my mama. You oh, my relying mama. on your talent, not the other shit, man. And I just want to say, bro. Thank you. Hey, you a I'm legend, Mark. I appreciate that. Woo! Thank you. Hey, appreciate hey, Mark, that, man. Hey, hey, right. hey, I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. I was, uh, I was <laughs> trying to take that watch. <laughs> okay, okay, get down the clock. Right? Get down the clock. Hey, he, hey, he almost had that, Mark. He almost had He's still, <laughs> he's still <laughs> an Oakland nigga, you know, man. I was got yeah. Anyway. Hey, <laughs> no, hey. But, hey, but honestly, Mark. That second class you, was a mother. <laughs> hey, you always been fucking funny, bro. Well, thank you. And I wanted to be just like you, nigga. And uh, uh in, in a Jamie Foxx show, nigga, when, when, when you gave <laughs> Jamie and Braxton Hart to bring right. a hard mm. time. Yeah. You just a fucking legend, right. man. Thank you, and, man. And, and, thank and I'm you, thankful man. to be around, And that bro. means a lot to me, you yeah. know, because I'm a ghetto boy, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of Oakland, you know. Yeah. And so, you know. And you know, but I had a father at home, and I was like, "Why do I have to have a father at home?" Mm -hmm. I was the only one with a father. At <laughs> me home. too. Me too. I shared my pops with the neighborhood. Right, nigga. Right. Yeah, yeah my dad, dad, everybody, father. daddy around this motherfucker. Hey, hey, you kid you? You know, your father said, "Hey, all right, I'm making a decision now. I'm making my decision now." Yeah. yeah you know, exactly. Yeah. How I mean, how was good. it coming out of Oakland? Um, being a comedian, cause did did you look up to anybody locally? Um, you know, my favorite comedian was Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he was always, I, at first, I I, um, I would listen to him in Big Paul's $69 charge. That's when they had eight tracks. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'm a kid, and mm -hmm. they, these guys had the race car, so I would, and that's the only time I could listen to Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. It was on the eight, I, I, didn't even, I never even told that story. I forgot <laughs> it was the eight track. Yeah, that's some OG <laughs> shit. Yeah. Where, else, where else was it? Was yeah. it? And so we put it in, you know, while they doing the cars, and you know, we listened. I would listen to Richard Pryor. I was like, wow, 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 and I had a chance to see him. So I was like, um, and I still had the ticket stuff. Oh, okay. So I was talking about the Circle Star Theater. So he was coming to Circle Star Theater. It was eighteen and over. And I think I was like fourteen or fifteen, sixteen. But I was like six two. So I put on a big old pimp hat <laughs> and, 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 and some platform. I borrowed my brother's clothes. I walked in as a six a six pimp. And they <laughs> thought you was grown? Oh, I looked grown. Yeah. I was already six too with shoes <laughs> on and the hat. I had a coat on. And I went to go see Richard Pryor. And what time? And what time? Uh, what time? Uh, 1974. I think. 1974. Damn. I think it was yeah. 1974, something around that time. At Oakland. Still, no, at the Circle Star Theater. 
What I say? It was it, it, they tore it down. It, um, everybody know about it. Your parents know. Your parents yeah. know. About Where that's it. at? It was in San Carlos. It was a Circle Star Theater, and it okay. turned. Uh huh. And it was, it was when everybody came. Damn. That's everybody. hard. Everybody. I saw Teddy <laughs> Pendergrass, but I saw Richard Pryor there. Mm-hmm. That's and, amazing. And I, and I, and I, and you throw, go back to the story. I, I remember where I was sitting right here. Mm-hmm. I saw him walk walk by. <clears throat> That's what I wanted to see. I, I mean, I saw him. I, I, maybe I moved over. I don't. I don't think nobody was sitting at the seat. So I, I went. And I was waiting for him. I actually saw him walk by. And go, and he walked damn. by. Well, I said, "Damn, Richard Pryor." Uh, damn, that's crazy. Bam. But I know somebody. <clears throat> he got on people before they had a chance. They were sitting. They were before they were sitting. Here, Look at his brother's shoe. Look at this. Yeah, brother. he roasted the motherfuckers <laughs> off tops. I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "He was hitting them." Look at this brother. She don't know where in the fuck she want to go. Da, da, da. I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> and was and he was the first person to really improv like that? No, no, I'm not saying that. But that's what he did. That was that. I was. That was what that you was saw. That's what that stood out to you. That's though. what I saw. Yeah. That was the first time, you know. And I didn't, I didn't even want to be. A, I don't even know. I wanted to be a comedian. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Did yeah. you want to be a comedian at the time? Um, you know, I did. I always I gravitated toward that, but it wasn't something you did at the time. Right. Yeah. You right. Like, what you want to be a what? Yeah. They didn't even have that. Yeah. Like, what? You, it was like what? You know, it, you know, it didn't make sense. So, yeah. So it was a depressed dream. Nigga talking about there. comedian. Nigga, yeah. do some coke. Yeah, yeah, that's what we coke. doing in the set. We doing some coke. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, check it out, man. It's your boy Louis Bell. Hey, Indianapolis, Naptown. Pull up, get your tickets right now, you understand me? July 16th, I will be out there. That's a Sunday, you understand me? So don't find out on Monday. Pull up on Sunday, you understand me? Get your tickets. Do not miss the show. We're going to act a motherfucking fool. Thank you. I love everybody. Hey, quick question. Yeah. Did you meet Richard Pryor again as Mark Curry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After I saw Richard Pryor, you know, this is, you know, uh, I don't know. I saw Richard Pryor, and <laughs> years later, I got a chance to open up for him. Look at God. Damn, man, wait, wait, we, 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 we fast <laughs> forward, though. We going to mislead these niggas because they think crazy. you going to go pay a ticket and then open up for a nigga that fast. <laughs> yeah. It don't work like that. You put the motherfucking work in. So that, was 70, work in. so that was 74 when you went to go see him. Damn. As a kid, I, as, a, as a youngster, I was like, you know, I was like, wow. I just was... Because I had listened to this person tell me these stories, and they fascinated mm-hmm. me. I was like, wow, you mm-hmm. know? And I was gifted yeah. funny. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to, I, I was gravitated towards yeah. it. You know? Yeah. Because I, I, I'm very interested in, in your story to, to the uh, the beginning process before Mr. Cooper and all that, because coming out of Oakland, uh, that's just so, it's just so different. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's like, what? My whole thing is like, I didn't know you was popping before Def Comedy Jam until I met you and you told me out your mouth. Yeah. You was like, nigga, because we was at the uh, Def Jam reunion, right? Yeah. So I'm in there, I'm sitting with Mark, you feel me? We having a good time, he take care of me, making sure I'm straight. Martin walk in, the whole building Go start crazy. clapping, give a, uh, Martin Lawrence a round of uh, a right. standing ovation. Yeah. They clapping, right? So now I'm sitting there, and I'm like, damn, Martin here, right? Yeah. So Mark look at me like, nigga, you want to meet Martin? I'm like, shit, uh, yeah. He like, nigga, that's my little nigga. Let me go. <laughs> so at the time, I'm thinking, this nigga lying. Yeah. You know, not, like, not like he lying like no, he no, no, no Martin. Right. You did go meet Yeah. yeah. So hey, that's love he right like, there. Martin, my little nigga. So I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah. He, he get up. He like, come walk with me, nigga. Mark Curry walk up. Martin Lawrence like, Mark, what's up with it, boy? Yeah. Mark like, yeah, nigga, this my Mark's little nigga, Louis Belt, you feel hey, me? Mark, hey, Mark, Mark, like, like a so I'm like, damn. And then he told me, nigga, I was, I was popping before all of them. I say, well, damn, really? No, yeah. not before Martin. Me and Martin together. Oh, okay. Me and Martin did our HBO specials together. So that's how y'all, I amazing. thought Martin got popping off a of Def Comedy Jam. No, no, Martin was a star yeah. from a- HBO special. Uh-huh. Yeah. Martin went on to do Martin. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's he how he got Martin. TV when he did Martin. Yeah, Martin was was so incredible. I would watch him work. I was like, God damn, look at that! <laughs> I, I would be Mr. Cooper. I was like, yeah. Wow! I go see Martin. You're like, What did I yeah. see? Yeah, they had a DJ. That's how I got a DJ. I went back. I want a DJ. They was like, What? 
<laughs> what? Yeah. Cause y'all yeah. did the talking dirty after dark. Yeah, Martin let me. Martin hooked me up with that. So yeah. how did you get an HBO special before um, your TV show? Well, at the time, you know, you, you got an HBO special, then you got a TV show. So you got an HBO special, and um, you know, they saw they, it was a tape of you. They said we could do something with that. Yeah. That's wow. hard. So you really have to be talented. <laughs> you really have to be talented, and then yeah, you became yeah. famous. I think today mm-hmm. it's the same way. It should be right. Dude, I don't feel that way. It, I feel like degree, you got to get it, famous, it, and then you get you, certain opportunities. You just got to be a silly motherfucker that 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 is entertaining enough, not skilled in talent, but just. A weird personality, like it'd be like like, like you. I mean, I mean, not to say <laughs> people know. Yeah, no, nah, but like no me, me, me. That's why it took me a long time to step into comedy mm-hmm. because I respected the art so much. Mm-hmm. I seen so what all the comedians did, right. and it's it's a certain level of respect you got to walk mm-hmm. into it with, mm-hmm. learning shit. But also, you got to get your ass on that stage and learn. Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta get. But I was like, age. I can't disrespect the people that come before me oh, without yeah, for knowing sure. what I need to know. For sure. So that's the difference between us and the yeah. motherfuckers that's insta famous or, or. Went viral for being a dumbass character. Nigga, yeah. it's an art and a skill. Yeah. He had to really fucking do the work. It was no nigga. How did, how did you. Just being a character. He had to yeah. be his, his authentic did self. You, do you feel like you had to uh, <clears throat> be in LA to make it out of Oakland? No, I came, you know, I, 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 yeah, you had to be in Los Angeles. Yeah. But I didn't leave Oakland mm-hmm. until I was ready. Said I was ready. Said I was <laughs> ready. My game was strong. As you, you saying ready as uh, being a strong comedian. Yeah, it, yeah. My my art, my mm-hmm. art was being a comedian. Mm-hmm. So I stayed in <clears> Oakland <throat> and I grinded. I kept a job at Pay and Save, you know, in Berkeley, at- Pay and Save in San Francisco, and I worked because I didn't, you know. Coming from that town, you know, we wild, wild, I lie, we ain't fugazi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, like to dress, you yeah, know. So, yeah, And I would observe, you know, like the pimps and the max taught me, just observe the game, see what you're getting into before you get in it, anything. So I would go to these clubs who wouldn't even let me perform, mm-hmm. even though I, my story was weird. My, I have a very unique story because mm-hmm. my story, then this, this, now listen to this. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get in no clubs, you know, the, the, you know, the, the, any of the clubs in San Francisco, they had mm-hmm. their favorites. Shit, like whatever. same way with yeah. my shit. Okay, <laughs> so, but I was coming from a different background. My background yeah. was from the Coliseum. Mm-hmm. I played the Coliseum. Mm-hmm. That was my, you know, for with, with too short, too short. Uh, uh, opening act was. Um, Ice T, I think NWA had just All started. That, uh-huh. um, uh The headliner was uh, Eric B and Rakim, LL Cool J, um, uh, Slick Rick. So you 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 started becoming becoming more popular and known because you was fucking with the rappers. No, I was doing Coliseums, nigga. What you mean? The motherfucking playing the Coliseum. I was opening up for him. I was a comedian, oh, but they was they was rappers. Performing after you though, right? It's just like just like a, a show at the Coliseum and the yeah. comedian come out. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Bill Graham, the late great Bill Graham, he mm-hmm. didn't even know my name. He said, "Comedian, put the every time they start fight, put the comedian out." Mm. And so, boom, boom, I'm doing Coliseum. Yeah, that's hard. Uh huh. That's hard. I'm doing Coliseums, but I couldn't even get into the club. What, what's your right nigga? I just did the Coliseum, motherfucker. I can't get in this club. Yeah. Hey, but you look, know? look how God directed that shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Coliseum is bigger than the motherfucking comedy club. Yeah. yeah. He, God set His footsteps upon that. You're right. Yeah. And then it went, it went backwards in a sense. Once He, you know, what I'm saying, God. But I knew at that, way, that, at that, I didn't care. I didn't. I knew I could. Because you, yeah, because you. But what I hey, go back on, to the man. story. I stayed in <laughs> open until I was ready. Uh-huh. Right. I was ready. When mm-hmm. I say we're ready. San Francisco comedy competition, you know, <clears throat> came in second. I'll say, okay, um, every competition I won. But in the meantime, I was, you know, in distribution. I was distribution myself mm-hmm. <laughs> to LA. I would work a shift at Pay and Save. This is true from, I would get off a Saturday, maybe, let me know, say if, if I had to do a Friday show, 
I would get off Friday at two o'clock or three o'clock, mm-hmm. get on the road and be in LA by eight. Wow. And my Dodge Raider. I still got We got a, we got, yeah. you know what's crazy? Cause what? we have a similar story when yeah. it comes to that. Yeah. I used to work at the warehouse yeah. and I used to get off at, uh, I, th- I used to get off in at 1 p.m. I used to start at 5 mm-hmm. and some shit like that. <clears throat> and uh, when I started popping in the Bay, I kind of felt like I was peaking. It's like, oh, I got to expand. Right. Right. Yeah. And I used to get off work and then drive to mm-hmm. L.A. when I got off work. Yeah. And then, you know, do my little comedy shit and yeah. then drive back to Oakland. That's when I was pulling up on you yeah. type shit right. around yeah. that. I this- was like 8, 9, nah, shit. Almost 10 years ago now. Yeah, on me, on me, on me. Like, yep. That's why I respect him so much, man. Like I, I don't know how I, I forgot how the fuck we connected on Instagram. But he mm-hmm. hit me was like, "Hey, I'm a fuck with you one day." I sent the nigga my address. Nigga, I'm at the house chilling. This nigga called me like, "Nigga, I'm outside." I'm outside. Yeah. Nigga, you drove Hanging from the bay. Up. He drove from the bay. He hopped out the car. He had a bad bitch in the car. I never forget. Ah. She was fired. And it was a red car. Oh, mama's nigga. probably her car. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really hey. from the soil. Hey, the, 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 the nigga hopped out. Said, "Hey, bruh." I'm going to fuck with you. Right. I'm like, nigga, you drove way out here just to tell me that? Right. Shook my hand, and he didn't stay. He he dipped off. And I said, I respect the fuck out of him. Why? Right. Because at the same time, he was good in comedy. I was just good in, like, comedic skits on social media. Right. That was my, right. my right. shit. But this was the only nigga that really came down here. And, and, and you know what's crazy? You. you telling me this story, right? right? Like my parents gonna watch this shit and they probably didn't know this about <laughs> your story too. And it's crazy because in the midst of me doing those drives back and forth and I kind of felt like, man, I'm paving the way. I'm mm-hmm. doing something that nobody from my section ever done. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I, I got to do this because it ain't nobody that's going to come grab me from Oakland. Right. Feel me? Because I'm going crazy. Because what's so crazy is I remember seeing Mark Curry in Oakland, mm-hmm. and I'm Bay Area popping. I'm telling you, Sonny <laughs> Bo, everybody yeah, know me, right? Yeah. I'm popping, right? <laughs> I see Mark on my young ego shit. Yeah. I'm thinking Mark Curry well, supposed to ego. know who I am. Yeah. Like, uh, I see you in Oakland, right? Uh, at a show. I thought you was supposed to know nothing. who I was. Right? What show did I oh, see you at? Look, it was, it was a complex. Was, what's that? Uh, it's You know, Oakland, you know, they rename the venues every fucking two years. <laughs> right, right, There's So right. many. <laughs> right. Like, you know that. how that shit is. It was James, the day day, they were the boo-boos. <laughs> yeah, it was Rodney's. Uh-huh. And <laughs> Gary Payton, the, Gary Payton got now. Yeah. Gary Payton got <laughs> You missed the fan V, you missed all type of shit. You be like, that's the same right, place. Right. But, um, you know, to speed up the story, make a long story short, I, yeah. I seen him and then I kind of felt, I felt like, this was wrong with the bay. Niggas don't even know what's going on, right? Yeah. Like, Mark Curry's supposed to know me. Yeah. Make a long story short, I seen Mark at, at LA mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Next time I see Mark Curry, I'm gonna just walk up to him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And just yeah. be like, you know, say what's up, bruh. I'm at the uh, event. And I'm like, what's up, bro? You feel me? I'm Oakland comedian and all the shit. He like, he didn't know who I was. Yeah. So then I'm like, oh shit, I'm in my own feelings. I'm me. Because I feel like I'm taking hella sacrifices and doing yeah. hella shit. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, just, he just didn't know. Yeah. And then when he got to know, he like, nigga. And nigga Mark said, nigga, you got more followers than me. Uh, <laughs> I said, no. I said, you're a legend, though, man. I just, yeah. I just wanted to make sure, I, you yeah. know, we know I each other, man. Was. You knew who I was. I knew he was. You know, the game is strong. I know everything. Yeah. Wow. Had to make you work for that. You Come know? on. You know, I had to make it work. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah. The streets is real. Hey. I wanted to see if you was real. Yeah. Damn. I mean, hands if I shake, them niggas ain't real, you know? So we had yeah. to see what you was about, you know? That's... You really from Oakland? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, motherfuckers really ain't from Oakland. Where yeah. you from? I'm from my over near the water, the lake thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, that's nah. crazy, bro. Nah, so it's just real. really the, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah. You know, motherfuckers be there. They be, yeah. you know, everybody got a little hot phase, but who, I mean, who really here to last? Because it's I mean, really about them sacrifices yeah. and them, them driving them flights, man. Because yeah. you know, it's you staying funny mm-hmm. to yourself. That, mm-hmm. So you have the confidence mm-hmm. to hit the stage and be funny and and you have fun with it and you don't have no stress. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That's, that's the art. If you're right. doing a sketch, mm-hmm. the sketch is gonna be funny. I know it's gonna be funny. You know, that's the, that to me, 
that's what I worked for. I worked for it to have some fun on stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. To have some fun. I can write some shit. Who's, what great job is that? I can write it. Brrr, and I can take it where I want to take it. I'm going to take you where I want to take you. Your audience mm -hmm. is stronger and smarter than you believe. They see you. They feel you. They believe you. They And you can take them anywhere you want. Mm. If, really. Yeah. If you believe it, they're going to believe it. Right? Facts. Who well, else is going to believe it? You well, on stage. Then my mouth, I, I, been, I was at the dentist, so. Oh, that, nah, yeah. shit, I ain't even peep. You just told on yourself. Yeah, yeah nah. That's, hey, <laughs> that's why I want to say, man, Um, as far as the black community, and I speak for all of us, bro, we thankful for you because. Thank you, Mayor. You, you, you came about. <laughs> that you, nigga you is came, talking like he nah, owned nah, black the black people, community, no I would like, nah, I'm messing nah, with Nah, because, you. like, honestly, man, like, I love that shit more than now because, uh, in a sense, we didn't have that many examples to. Right, right. Show us how to be as black people, man. I never saw you make us look stupid. Never. I never saw you. Have make you ever us put on like a dress? I did. I did put on a dress. It was with Sherman Hemsley. God damn! What but, made you do it? You done went yeah, out, Mark. Nah, 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 nah. nah <laughs> God damn! Nah. See, I, I say I'm finna break the record. I'm gonna be the first Bay Area nigga nah. to ever not put on a dress <laughs> and make it. <laughs> but, but I did it with my choice. It was a funny. It was with Sherman Hemsley. Yeah. And you know, and I wanted to work with Sherman Hemsley. I thought it was very funny mm -hmm. that Sherman Hemsley mm -hmm. liked me, and it was funny. I thought it was hilarious because I was throwing him around. Cause I said, "Look, man," and when I was there, I said, "Okay, I'm gonna throw you." Said, "Man, I'm ready." And so <laughs> I was like, "Whoa!" So it was just, I knew he was a great actor, and I mm -hmm. knew that I could improv with him. Right. So, so you had the dress <clears throat> on, and you threw him, or he threw you. Uh, <laughs> he tried to me trying. Look, I had the dress on, uh -huh. and you can look the episode up. Uh -huh. I think it's very funny. This is on uh, yeah. Mr. Cooper. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. That, so I, hey. And I never, you know, it's no about no selling out, nothing like that. Yeah. I believe that Mr. Cooper. I tried to represent mm -hmm. the black community in a positive light. You I have. didn't want a buffoon. Never wanted to be a buffoon. Yeah. If you look, Mr. Cooper didn't. He had a he had a laptop. Mm -hmm. If you look back, he had a laptop or a black history book. Look mm -hmm. at a book. When he come up, when he's sitting on there, see, see what he was, you know, see, watch what he was doing. Yeah. You know, so he was trying mm -hmm. to be positive. So. That's why I say thank you to bro, because yeah. like I, I said, nigga, at a certain era in television, black people really ran that shit. Black yeah, people yeah. saved so many fucking TV stations, and you got a big part in that. So, mm -hmm. like, I, I, I was with say ABC. It, they were powerful. Yeah, like I, I'm gonna really yeah. say that shit, bro. Like honestly, man. Why you think it's not like that now? Well, you know, I don't know, and I don't know, and I don't want to say here and sit here and say, well, because this and that. And yeah. that. I don't know. And you don't want to say these niggas ain't funny enough to have a show. What'd you say? <laughs> 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 what'd you, I hear what you say. I hear, hear I'll speak it. You understand? No, 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 no real shit. Yeah. You know what it is? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know, but that's not something for us to worry about. Exactly. You know, yeah. you're yeah. On just your make way. room for your shit. You're on your way. You guys have a right. beautiful, beautiful podcast at an mm -hmm. old porno studio. Yeah, man. You understand me? Yeah. When the camera's cut well. off. Yeah. 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 You guys got to be out here. Come on. No. I'm just, but, uh, <laughs> but this is so, you know, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. You, know, you got to worry about how we get on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you become the next show? How do you become mm -hmm. the next show? This yeah. is a show. You could this you know, what's that show that became popular them two brothers? I don't know. It was, it was it's it a was, comedy you know, show. It. Two brothers. No, no, it's a it comedy was show? just like this. And they and they got on, you know, T V You talking about eighty five South? No, 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 no. It was a two, two dudes. I, I think they Oh, you, them niggas you gotta know who it is. I think you I'm know. Think I think who? I know. I don't know the dude. They I'm became very big. Yeah, man. Shout out to 85 South Show. You understand? I, mean, I love me? 85 Real South. Real niggas, yeah. man. You understand <laughs> me? But the other two dudes, I think they broke up. Yeah, yeah, they did. I but know whoever what you're they about. were, yeah, what, yeah. what I'm saying is the money wise, mm -hmm. yeah. look what they became. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't remember them doing this, and then they be, yeah. they got a show. Yeah, you know, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real like shit. That? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I, nah, I, look, I, yeah, I, I love everybody. I forever got love. I'm for down with 85 South. You know yeah. that. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> that was a yeah. real OG I mean, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy. But, 
<laughs> but this nigga Lou, like, I got a lot, a lot of love and respect for bro. Player. Because um, Lou's a young OG in the town. On me, he he young got, I said it. Hey, you, he brought me out there. I hit like my he first got his shot open card there. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Official like a referee whistle. Yeah, man, you that nigga card won't get bipped and shit. Never got bipped. Laid off, you young nigga. Laid off, you young nigga. That's hella funny. You got protection in the hood. But Lou is the nigga that got me into really hitting that stage doing stand up. Him and a comedian, Ronnie Raw. Okay. Was the two that got me mm, on the stage because okay. when you when you was doing that too short shit, I don't yeah. know if you remember, but it uh -huh. was it was you and uh, Teddy, uh -huh. and I was telling you I want to do stand up, and you was like, do that shit. Yeah, mm, let's do it. Let's do what, what you got you to got? lose? Do it. What's your first joke? He gave my first. Uh, <laughs> he sorry. said, "What's your, what's first, your first, joke? first joke? Let's do this. Let's do a my couple first of jokes for this." Yeah, you can't. Podcast. You can't talk about jokes yeah. so around the legends. So man. What we got? Let's do that. So, Let's cut to the fat. I want to hear all that basically shit. That's so my first cool. joke was um. What was my first joke? On no, let's tell some jokes. That's, what's the topic? Well, are you gonna so, put them on the spot yeah, like so, that? Yeah. Just so what is your much, first joke? My first joke was uh pretty much letting them know that I was from L.A. and doing crowd work and saying like this nigga sound like Nipsey talking being a comedian. My first joke that I had to tell you. Like that, yeah, bro. Yeah, I like so, so basically, there yeah. you go. So, now, nah, but my first joke was pretty much about street food, Mexican tacos. Okay. Saying how it sound when you order from a fire taco spot, how the Mexicans talk with broken English. Okay. That was my first joke. You shit. can't tell your joke, much. though, because yeah, so, people watching, and then yeah. when you go before, so, don't let this nigga put you so, on the so basically, yeah, yeah, don't tell your joke. So basically, you sound it, racist it, anyway. Don't it, it, it was on a, it was a, it was a order. I don't want to hear that joke. <laughs> Uh, no, no, you people, no. You so got to perform that, the yeah, joke in front of yeah. We love our street then, tacos. And, oh, mamas. And then I, I came there. We ain't got street tacos in Oakland. They we we the do the now. Take the, the cart. They, the took, the cart. they <laughs> took the <laughs> cart. They took the cart. We got the truck. They took my cart. Fuck, what you gonna do with the cart? What's the difference between yeah. Oakland yeah. right now and Oakland in the 70s and 80s? Nigga, we was hyphy then, boy. What? We the one that was in the 70s. We was like that. 79, we was ah. Flashlight. Flashlight. I was just about to say that. Atomic <laughs> but we didn't swing. We didn't swing our cars for the simple. We did, but uh, we were more finesse. You know, it was yeah. more finesse. More player. You know, Falcons. Yeah. Sitting yeah. on Trues and Vols. Yeah. You know, in the Mustang Club. I'm finna bring Cougar that back. Cougar Club, Cadillac Club. You know Ooh. what I mean? Yeah. I, had a, I was in the Volkswagen Club. Hey guys, hey. That was a college <laughs> when you guy. first got your money, what first? What's the what car are you you like? All right, nigga, I'm gonna get my little hood car. Um, hood car? No, not hood car. Just what car you got first? You feel me? When you got your money? First car I got. I didn't buy a car on Mr. Cooper. Uh, I kept the same car. Why? Real I nigga. kept the 87 Dodge Raider that I still got. I drove that for you the first two years. You still got that years. motherfucker? Straight up. There's only two niggas I know that still got the car they started with, him and Ludacris. It's the only two. Really? Yeah. Damn, I, got, I, I got, wish I had my I, old I got Lex. all of them. <laughs> That's all. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, you never got in a car accident, nigga? Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I lost a few cars, nigga. Yeah. No, uh, I got my dad, my father's 72 Plymouth. I'm uh, old school. Yeah. I got my father's Plymouth that he bought off the showroom floor in Alameda, California. Black man walking in in 1972 with Kiznash cash mm -hmm. because he couldn't get credit. So, you know, he, my father said, he, he said to the dude, you know, he looked at some cars. He knew which one he wanted. Yeah. He wanted that gold one. He knew which, how much it was. He had the money <laughs> on it. Said, how much is that one? How much is that one? He said, I want that one. He said, man, you can't afford that one. He said, how much is that one? He said, yes, I can. He said, drive that motherfucker off. Damn. That's what I'm talking yeah, about, George man. George Curry. Wrong, boy. So I still got his car. <laughs> 72 Plymouth. That's 360, hard. Uh -huh. You know, so yeah. I love cruising that. And I bought a Mercedes convertible in the 90s. I still got it. Damn, after, for real? Uh, yeah, after after my Dodge Raider, I would drive that one to Mr. Cooper only. Back and forth, I couldn't bring it to the town. I brought it to the town once. Uh -huh. I had to pull a pistol on the motherfucker. You lying. I'm not lying. True story. Yeah, true story. You was in Oakland, Oakland. in I your never, car. I'm Batman. You, I'm driving through that with the car. My car was Batman. Yeah. I was Batman coming through Lex Luthor, all black. This what a real guy, nigga. Oh, nigga right. was, yeah, yeah, nigga. They, was, no. It was called Strawberry. Hey, no, that was the car that. name. Strawberry, nobody, man. Looked, nobody had that. Even Gary Payton was like, okay, uh, no one. <laughs> GP didn't have, you didn't have one. No, you know, no one yeah. had that one, you know. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I remember that. Someone told somebody hard. trying to rob you? Oh, yeah. What? You know, that's a story, yeah. That's a true story. Trying to get me on that old angle walk. Watch that angle walk. 
you know, I'm walking this way, and the motherfucker will try to, you know, yeah. he'll try to angle you and hit mm-hmm. hit you right there. Mm-hmm. Just try to angle you. You, know, yeah. you start walking. He start walking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure. We don't yeah. play that nigga. Step back, clack, clack. You know? yeah. This I'm how like, you know, know you finna nigga. get robbed in Oakland when the nigga say, "Hey, check it out." Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? yeah. Check it out. Exactly. Yeah. I know. If I somebody know. say, "Check it out," don't check don't, it out. No, exactly. Don't. No. Exactly. Oh, hey, hey, excuse me. Can I talk to you for a second? No. <laughs> nah, I'm cool. Buy a CD? No. <laughs> Can I pump your gas? No, nigga. We in Jack in the Box. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no gas in Jack in the Box. Come on now. <laughs> Hey, ATL, pull up on me, you understand me? July 27th, I'm at the Uptown Comedy Corner, you understand me? It's your boy Louis Bell, not the help. Come on, feel free to pull up on me. Pop your pee. Come on, we're going to have a good time. Get your tickets right now. Do not miss out. Hey, no, that's oh, funny. That's... I just had Nations out. Yeah. That's all Nations right. is a legend, for sure. Yeah. Feel me get a little cheesecake or something on some player <laughs> shit. We need some dice. We need some dice in there. Oh, oh yeah, nigga. It's always near, you understand know me? Yeah. Oh, well, mama. Hey, God yeah. damn, man. But we you... were hyphy before y'all. No, no way. We were different. We, you know what? <laughs> y'all was player. Yeah, we were player. Every See, day, I'm more player. Sonny Bo play. hyphy. Yeah. yeah. Sonny Bo I, hyphy. I was supposed to be with y'all. Yeah. I'm not even supposed to be with these young niggas right now. But oh, Sonny Bo, Sonny, <laughs> Sonny Bo is, they still like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. They still like that, for sure. Yeah. You just did it when you did it. Oh, well, mama, mama, mama. No matter where that go, yeah. it could be yeah. a funeral. Yeah. Uh-huh. What, hey. what was it? Was it hard uh, being a, a celebrity making <laughs> out of the hood, and you got one million three thousand and four hundred cousins and nieces and nephews? No, because people don't know. People think of the Bay Area, and you know we got Steph Curry. Shout out Steph Curry. You understand yeah. me? It's my player partner. You understand me? But <laughs> it, it ain't no more Currys than. Yeah, this is his like, family of the Curry. Big Mark family. Curry. Huge family. Huge family, baby. A lot of Curry. God damn, how Curry. many nieces and nephews you got? I don't know. You really don't know, huh? Well, it's impossible to tell. I mean, it's really impossible to tell. There's so many. Yeah. You know, not so many, and they're going to kill me. Dang, Mug, you can say my name. But they, you know, we have a lot of curry. Yeah, I was in my feelings about that too. I'm like, yeah. I know, I know his uh, nieces and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know Mark, man. <laughs> but I know his nieces, man. <laughs> right, right, right. Dumb. I saw Sunny Bo on 98. <laughs> I saw Sunny for last time. Was Sunny Bo was on 98. That nigga hanging out. Said, Sunny Bo, Sunny Bo. That nigga. <laughs> He's in the station wagon. Oh, that that's hella funny. <laughs> so in the yeah, no, nah, that that's some shit, man. You'd have been in this game for a long time. My game, man. I've been in this game long. You know, the first person I opened up for who? Take a guess. First person Richard I opened Pryor. up for no. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Boom. Bill Cosby. Rap, boom, boom. No. Or a comedian. Uh, a singer. Prince. I mean, no, no, no. Older than that. A Harry singer. White? Yeah. We named no. hella old he niggas. Play the piano. So Malcolm X. Uh, <laughs> Who you on Ray Charles? Ray Charles. Ray Charles. Ray Charles. Give it up, nigga. At the Richmond, oh, mama, at the Richmond Auditorium. For, in Richmond. Richmond Auditorium. That's hard. At the time, still got the poster. Up on the wall. I don't know what year that was. Man. Hey man. Hey, hey Lou. You open up for. Uh, that, was, that, was that was the first person to open up so for. I can see that motherfucker. I think it was yeah, 1988, 87. 19, no. Damn. 87. Ray Charles? That's fucked up. He that's wasn't up. able to see you. No. <laughs> that nigga ass up. Hey, no, hey. Hey, nigga said Ray Charles had chunkles being a blind nigga, bro. Ray Charles turned it out. They said he had chunkles. Nigga, he was beating niggas up. Ray Charles. Off his money, yeah. Did you, did you see the movie Ray Charles? Yeah, I seen when it. I didn't see him beat nobody up. T- no, no. He, he dived on the table on a nigga because the nigga short changed him. <laughs> they probably just put that in the movie to make <laughs> him nah, just as more, yeah, and you, <laughs> make and, it entertaining. And, and, and you, know, you know how Charlie Murphy <laughs> had the true Hollywood story with Rick James? Uh-huh. Nigga. Uh, yeah, same shit with Rick. Uh, with, with, uh, so you heard LeBron that from nigga. some OG niggas in your hood. Nah, Mark no, Curry bro. really didn't work with no, him. How was Ray nigga, Charles? Look, nigga. He beat me up. <laughs> Took my money. No, I'm telling you, nigga, look. When I say, no, you know, remember the house you came to on 85th and Norman? Uh-huh. Nigga, Rick James Pop stayed on the next block from me, nigga. 
Rick and, James pops. Yeah, niggas is a Oh, you saying story. Rick James or Ray Charles? No, but I'm but I'm saying I, I say you know how like Charlie Murphy had the had the true Hollywood stories with, about Rick James about the shit that he used to do when he used to fight that nigga. Mark, you know anything about what this nigga talking about? Well, I'm a little confused right now, Jim. Okay. Let's go back in the podcast. Okay, let's. We were talking we, about Rick James or Ray Charles. We were talking about Ray Charles, Normandy. but I said uh-huh. I said. You said that it was fucked up that he couldn't see the nigga. I said, nah, but mm-hmm. he was whooping niggas' ass being That's blind. The drugs have kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> see, look, the niggas the in the comments tell. gonna know what I'm talking about. Yeah, put about. a comment. Let, because Dave Chappelle let has some know. true Hollywood stories that niggas thought this person was this certain way. Like, he was just a wild nigga, but niggas used to really fight. So how the hell did you open up for Ray, Char- Ray Charles? That's um, crazy. You know... I don't even remember. Because niggas didn't have social media, so you had to just walk up everywhere. <laughs> you no, know, somebody, uh, I think I had a booker or something, and they asked me, did I want to open up for Ray Charles? And um, I said, yeah. I, I don't, you know, I was, I was, I became a little comedian, you know, just doing, you know, yeah, July. yeah. That's a good question. I don't even know where that came, <laughs> that booking came from. Right. <laughs> my father didn't even believe me. You know, eating. Dad, I'm about to open up for Ray Charles. Said, well, good luck. <laughs> 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 I know your ass better make it to work tomorrow. Yeah, That's yeah. all. No, you... Have fun. Now tell him about that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what was the? Uh, what was the? I had a Volkswagen. What was the worst show you ever done? Like on some like starting off. Worst show. I remember I did a show at the Beverly Center back in the day. and At the mall? Yeah, at the Beverly yeah. Center. Back in the day, Be- Beverly Center was popping. Yep. You know, malls oh. was popping at the time. That's, yeah. like, that's, Beverly, not, like, that's Beverly Hills. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. for his parents, that was Lifestyles of Rich and Pain. That was... Yeah. yeah that was, <laughs> they, they may not even went. That was, they would, that was a trip. You was yeah. performing at the mall? Well, at the bottom part, they had a club. And that's L.A. was popping. So that's you hard. came to L.A. L.A. was just like it is now. Like, yep. woo. It's the shit, yeah. And I remember she paid me a lot of money and nobody listened. <laughs> but as a, the game was real, I knew that money. I, I said, I ain't gonna stop talking. Give me my money. I think they gave me, I don't know, $600. Oh, $900. that's chicken. That's damn near $6,000 yeah, right exactly. now. <laughs> exactly. We are like, what? She had saw me perform somewhere. That's why it's important. I'm going and, out and she, to eat tomorrow. And she had money, and she was. it was her birthday party. Uh-huh. And she said she wanted me. Nobody, I think Jeffrey Osborne performed in front of me. And I turned him over. And then it was an L.A. crowd. I mean, I was a comedian, so it was like, you know, I mean, yeah, they, real they, were, they were looking at me like, I was, I was, but I didn't care less. I got that I paycheck. Got paid. I, <laughs> I enjoyed That's what I learned. I learned the game. Yeah. I did shows. I did a show in San Ramon. i never forget this, where it was two, three people in the place. I was uh-huh. doing comedy, and it, these two people were kissing the whole time, and one person... I said, fuck, I just kept talking, get my little money. That's what you get, like, a little $75 a night. Yeah. Get your little money, get a little Volkswagen. Be back at pay and save in the morning. Somebody was kissing, you didn't address it? (laughs) No, no, they were kissing the whole time, making out while I was doing comedy. Damn. You know, I remember that, so. But I always keep I would have brought I would have brought one of my bitches up there. I ain't finna be kissing in front of me. I'm finna. (laughs) Yeah, I learned how not to have a bad show. Yeah. Oh really? Example, like DC, I did the national, um, the national. I don't know what it was. It, it was a national. It was the DC. It was ten thousand people uh-huh. in DC. I was like, it, it was Tina Marie cameo. And I said, how the fuck am I gonna make these people laugh? I mm-hmm. was confident, uh-huh. but how can I win them over? Uh-huh. So I got there early and came and you know, and when they was coming in, I walked through the audience. And you, when you came, when they came in, when you they was coming the- in, and I, 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 I said, "Give me the microphone early." Uh-huh. So I had the microphone early. So they was coming. Hey, look at this brother coming in. Got, you can tell he got his own chicken. Da da da. <laughs> yeah. So I was hitting him, doing him, doing him. Improv. By the show started, they knew me. I was bigger than everybody. Mm, I said, hey, you feel smart me? Smart move. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. was the smartest move. Yeah. The jazz festival. It was like ten thousand people. Damn. But by the time they start coming in. Mm-hmm. I have people. Where well, my girl with the chicken? Okay, she still she still ain't pulled that chicken out. She been talking about that chicken for two days. <laughs> Building rapport with the audience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, damn, make my them like genius. you as a person. Then tell you <laughs> right, jokes. Right, right. Same right. shit. That, I think I learned that in Oakland because it hard. ain't no comedy club. So you yeah. know, niggas coming in there for drinks and all other shit. <laughs> right. Niggas ain't come for the comedy show. So you gotta win the crowd over. Yeah. Then right. tell your jokes. So mm-hmm. I, by the time right. I got to L.A., I'm like, nigga, I was throwing <laughs> off to. 
perform for people that was quiet. Yeah. Like, right. silence right. scared me. Right. Like, oh, right. shit, y'all niggas want to joke already? Right. Nigga, yeah. I just came out here. Right. What's happening, nigga? Like, you feel me? I don't got no opening joke. Right. <laughs> that gives you that, you know, that gives you that fierceness. Yeah. 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 Coming from Oakland, staying in Oakland, you know. Mm -hmm. Oakland is Oakland. Yeah. yeah. They're going to let you know what's up. Yeah. And, you know, you can come out here and go to the improv and that mm -hmm. joke is going to work. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, and that's what I was, you coming from here, it's going to work. Especially the improv, yeah, laugh factory, yeah, it's gonna work. If it's gonna work in Oakland, I know it's gonna work there, guaranteed. And if yeah. it's gonna work there, it's gonna work there. It's gonna work on the big stage. Facts, yeah. it's the so domino effect. Can it work on TV? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why you know I always try to write for TV. Try to say, can I do this joke on TV or can I do this joke in New York at a jazz at, at a an opening up for somebody or or whatever? Mm -hmm. That's where I would write my jokes. So I never had to change them. Oh. So they gotta, I gotta change my shit. Nope. Let's go. I'm ready to go. Thank you. How much? That's the check, people. That's the check. How you doing? Nice suit. Thank you very much. Nice suit. Damn. That's hard. Yeah, I, I noticed you got a lot of relationships with a lot of legendary comedians. You know, uh, I always wonder what's your relationship with Cat Williams. Cat Williams. It, Number one, it's my brother. How did y'all get connected? We've been on tour for like seven years. That's crazy. Thank you, Cat. He's a, he's brilliant. He's an incredible mind. Yeah. And a smart brother. <clears throat> and can go. Yeah, he a fucking he legend. Go. He can That's, go, boy. Yeah. yeah. Boy can go. That's another one of them niggas that, like, I would say is a comedian that's informal. I like somebody that can teach me some shit. Yeah. And it's only a handful that is good at that. Right, right. Yeah. Like, Dick Gregory, you know, Richard mm -hmm. Pryor, mm -hmm. motherfuckers of that. And to see that you mesh well with the newer generation mm -hmm. means a lot because, you know, sometimes the older comedians can, you know, yeah. be yeah. upset at Facts. the young niggas. But the fact that yeah, you guys yeah. have the mutual respect for each other. Well, he a legend. He's a legend. Yeah, no, nah, for rock sure. Star. He a rock star. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. How did how did y'all get con how did y'all get connected yeah. though? It seemed like Cat Williams <laughs> got a good relationship with a lot of uh, Oakland. Cat called me. I, this 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 is it. Cat called me. I was at the Burbank Airport. Mm -hmm. I swear to God. I said, "Who is it?" This is Cat Williams. I said, "Yeah, right, man." So I didn't think it was Cat Williams. I said, "Yeah, whatever, man." I said, what you need, player? What you, what you trying to do? What we doing here? What you need, Cat? Yeah. Okay, I'm Cat. You know, I, I didn't believe it was him. He said, man, you know, we need to tour together. I said, oh, wow, that'd be interesting. Let's, let's hard. talk about it. It's simple. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Cat, you know, I was like, you know, and I never really, you know, I was like, wow, I don't think they're going to, you know, accept me. I don't know, you know. And he just, uh, he just, he just hit you like on some, because, like when he was coming up and you was already establishing who you were, he just always wanted to work with you or you done done something for him like on some, like you feel me, like mm -hmm. you done looked out for him no, at he, a period he, of time. Well, you know, I, I just needed someone to go on tour. You know, it yeah. just asked me to go on tour, which I thought was awesome. Hell yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Man. that's fucking iconic, <laughs> man. It is. You know, just like, yeah, iconic, that's right. And I done seen you, when I, I seen you <laughs> out there, man. You out there killing that <laughs> shit, man. I, when I, we was in Detroit, man, I pulled up on you, man. Oh yeah, yeah, Detroit, <laughs> yeah. I have fun. You know, and, you know, now I've learned to have fun. You know, I like to have fun. You gotta have fun with the show. You know, you can't be stressed with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta have the con you got the confidence. You got the confidence. You gotta have the confidence to go out and make it fun. Go get the bag, but have fun. Yeah. You know, Lionel Richie don't be stretching. I mean stressing. Yeah. Lionel Richie I say you say me. <laughs> Lionel Richie is eating mm, eating after the show. More fruit, please. <laughs> More fruit, please. <laughs> That was a fun show. So, you know, yeah, that niggas nigga. be at peace. Yeah. That was a fun yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, you know. He was high when he was doing them songs, Zoom. Say you, say me. He was high in the mirror. You say me, I say you. <laughs> zoom, Zoom. I feel like dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> I say you, you, ever, you say me. You ever met Whitney Houston? I was on tour with Whitney Houston. That's hard. What? What? You know, nigga, how many tours player. you been on? <laughs> 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 Have you met God? Nigga, I was on tour with God. God. Nigga. 
Nigga, he told really me I was gonna be the one. <laughs> you gotta watch these OGs, nigga. <laughs> OG don't lie. OG don't lie. OG don't lie. So you was gonna tour Whitney Houston? That's crazy. Well, Whitney Houston did the Star Strangle Banner. Uh huh. You see uh -huh. the concert that night? Bam. I mean, saw that on YouTube. I was a comedian. I opened up for Whitney Houston. Wow. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. All right. I yeah. He went to a wedding. <laughs> It was at her wedding. You yeah. did a show with Michael Jackson? Um, Don't no, lie. No, I never met Michael All right, Jackson. I was going to say. I never met Michael Jackson. I had a chance to meet him, and I didn't meet him. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I never met Michael Jackson. That, that's that's strange, though. You ain't even yeah. seen him. You ain't I seen saw, that I was in the same pale room. ass nigga yeah. walking through somewhere? No, I was, I, we, it was at Magic Johnson's first open the theater. Theater, yeah, yeah. at the yeah. Uh, ball with Chris And he O'Mall. came in, yeah, and, yeah. and Michael <laughs> Jackson was over there, and I, I didn't go meet him. Yeah. Uh, do do you kinda, was you that type I'll of person? See if I could have met him. I should have met him. See if I could have got his, you know, yeah. Take his his uh, watch. Take his watch. <laughs> so how you doing, man? Oh, Curry. Nice to meet you, Curry. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, he will not realize his watch is going yes, until he, he get back at, to Neverland. Michael like, thug. Wait a Michael was a thug. Michael. My watch. Wait a they said Michael was a creep. Oh, Michael, yeah. Oh, nigga, my <laughs> uncle, bro. He was in a picture with my uncle. The picture with Michael Jackson throwing up the seat. Yeah, is that a real picture, bro? That's my uncle's, bro. Real picture. Really? On God in heaven. I love oh, God it. in heaven. Damn. Bro, nigga, I got old school pictures of my pops gangbanging, bro, like back around that time. Yeah, I seen the pictures. Bro, like. But Michael Jackson, that was a real one? Bro, that's a real picture. Michael was a thug. It's a real picture, bro. Michael was a thug. <laughs> and you from Gary, Indiana? Yeah, yeah, that's the Jets, real for nigga. sure. Nigga, yeah. nigga, not too far from Mike Epps. Yeah, Didn't yeah. It, bro. Michael's really him. God damn, Michael that, really him. that's some shit, man. Yeah. No, nah, that's uh, <laughs> you got a you got a hell of a story, Mark. Man, it's it just yeah. you know. Yeah. My game is strong, baby. Thank you, Jesus, being in this game so long. How Come many on. years? Forty. I don't count years. Thirty. I don't yeah, count. Yeah. Years. It's damn near thirty it, 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 piece it, it, for sure. Them. It's a thirty for piece for, for sure. sure. I don't count years. I don't do that. I don't do the number thing. Why? That's you know, important. You know, it's not. Why not, not? You improving what you do is important. Okay. You, you staying, you know, you're doing, I was doing the things to the podcast, but not, what, and you improve. You make it easier. You got a point, because there is a lot of older comedians that be hella mad, yeah. grumpy and shit. Cause, nigga, yeah. I've been doing this for 20 years. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. nigga, yeah. fuck yeah. all yeah. that. Nigga, I know that. what I'm doing right yeah. now, too, nigga. Right. I'm right. happy to be there. I'm happy to do it. You know, I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. It's an yeah. incredible job. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, mamas. Just, you know, be here. Pop your Look shit. How many people are we reaching? The real Mark Curry on Instagram. Oh, I need mamas. one million followers for my birthday. Come on, let's do it. When that. your birthday? Let's June do that. 1st. June 1st. Yeah, oh, make it oh, happen. You're a Gemini. Let me see. Yeah, Gemini. Mine and 19. June 1st. Oh, one that million? Happen? Is that possible? I think you at like what three hundred thousand? Yeah. Oh no, that's, that's possible. Seven hundred thousand. Hey, come on, now we got a week. Yeah, come on, yeah, we can on. make it happen. Let's speak on it. Yeah, we gonna make man, it happen. Hey, follow, it happen. follow the real Mark come Curry, on, man. Follow the real come Mark on. Curry on Instagram. Yeah. We can no. make it happen. Whatever I gotta do, man, make yeah. it happen, Lou. Oh my no, mama, on. oh my mama, come on. We gotta make Alicia it happen. Give me that. Me <laughs> give me that. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. come on. I got a little Falcon that I might give you. A little Falcon needs some wheels. The engine needs a hand. Oh hands, you know? shit! What? Hey, how, no, you, how you how you dealt with these hoes coming up, Mark? How, we can't we can't have a we can't have a real Oakland Bay Area legend this motherfucker and not talk about the ladies, man. Come on, man. Well, let's talk about the ladies. Come on, man. <laughs> how, let's how, talk about how, the ladies. How did you how did you deal with the women, man? Did you? Yeah. I we don't the public don't know everybody know you as uh, Mr. Cooper, Mark yeah. Curry, but you know, understand me. A lot of people that if you know, you know. But if you don't, life, you don't. You don't tell your private life. Why yeah. not? Why not? You know why you don't tell your private life? Why? Because just like ice, you know, ice, ice melts and it goes away. Mm -hmm. But the game is never told. Mm. If you got to be bold to be in the game. Pop your P. You know? Pop your P. I hear you. <laughs> this guy, I'm, I'm hearing the game. You know, yeah. The reason I'm talking like it feels like I'm in the back of, of, of a bro ham with this seat. You know? <laughs> yeah. no. I think I said a bro ham. That's what it feel like. I feel like I'm in the back. You know? <laughs> but that's how you get the followers now. Yeah, Everybody you know, posting their girl. Shout out to Phil Mo Slim. Everybody yeah. posting yeah. their girl. Yeah, Phil yeah. Mo Slim. Yeah. Like, Phil Mo Slim taught me game. 
little mm. game. The P. Really? Yeah. The P. So that, my sister Brenda, rest in peace, Brenda. Imagine calling your sister and film on Slim over her house. What the fuck? What you say to film? Say, the day, nigga, go. What you have my sister about? <laughs> film, bro? Hey, nigga, how you doing? Yeah. You For the time, people right? that don't know yeah. who film on Slim is, yeah. man, you understand me? Legendary Tories. pimp, you understand me? Yeah. Out of San Francisco, man. You understand me? A lot of people don't even know about that San Francisco life, man. Yeah. Them niggas be thinking it's <laughs> zesty out there, man. There's some real players out nah, there, yeah, man. Yeah. San Francisco, no joke. Yeah. Hey, you gotta go across that bridge. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like that's where we're gonna, gonna be in San Francisco, from. right? Oh, San yeah, Francisco we're be Cops. At Cops. Cops Comedy Club, you understand me? That's right. You know Mark Curry. Yeah. June. Uh, June 6th. June, no, 9th. Yeah. No, That's June right. seven to nine. What yeah, is that? yeah, okay. June seven to nine. Seven you understand right. me? Please let it be the right thing. Yeah, yeah. no, it's uh, <laughs> no, it's June seventh to June ninth. I remember. Yeah, hey, that's where a lot of places nah. get that game from when niggas don't want to be honest. No, nah, it's not June. No, no. No, nah, it's June 9th to June yeah, 12th. June 9th to June 10th. Cobbs Comedy Club. Yeah. It's Mark Curry. This yeah. is a quick a quick commercial. <laughs> I'll be at Cobbs Comedy Club. He's opening it up for me. It's crazy. He'll be there, too. It's the brown Dr. Dre. That's right. If Dr. Dre wore brown and you, it was a UPS manager, he, he would look like that. Hey, man, give me the beat. You crazy. That's great. It's right. That's right. It's a UPS <laughs> outfit. That's oh. right. It's crazy. Hey. No, that's hella funny, yeah, man. I need, right. I need to clip my Instagram, man. My mama, she gonna fall what's out. Your, what's your mom? Give her a shout out for your mom. Elaine. How you I love doing, you, Ms. mama. Lang? Yeah. And my, my mama's wh who put me on you. Oh, uh, really? It's I, I'm that age. Yep. Yeah. See, I'm on, you know, I'm that age <laughs> where, you know, being only 40. <laughs> that nigga like, said I'm at that age. <laughs> like, why? No Fugazi here, boy. You know, just real, you know? Yeah, I, yeah. I pop that color. Yeah, you pop your people, the wannabes who want to be. Yeah, I'm talking about trying to look up to see what's up. I'm talking about choose up and tying those screws up because I know your last boyfriend was a loser. Tell about the song. Tell about the song. Yeah, you understand me? Oh, mamas, when I pop it, I was popping. Fab, we got this new album coming out. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Five uh, Name Player uh, shit, too uh, short, uh, man. Uh, uh, I'm bipping. Yeah. I'm bipping. A new single. I'm bipping. Fab, where we at? Uh, 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 I'm uh, bipping every night, every night go. in the window. Go. Creeping real boom with yep. my hoodie on the tendo. Yo. Uh, where you at? Where you at? I got a purse go. at the gas station. Oh, I even robbed a hearse. Uh, uh yeah. Arr. We ain't here, Mark. Come through that thing, slide through like a dark. Ooh. I don't rap, but I'm Mac. What? I don't pimp, uh. but I don't simp. Uh. Hey, no check it out, uh. bitch. Choose up. What? Mark Curry. Uh. What's up? <laughs> hey. Uh. You know, oh, we'll be at, that's right. We'll be at BB Memorial Church. No. <laughs> our, our rhythm is so different out here. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> we hella weak at rapping, but no, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's I mean, a vibe, yeah. though. We're not trying I mean, to rap. I mean. But somebody gonna take that and they gonna take it and, and, and turn it into something. Yeah. You, yeah. Like yeah. Beat to that. you fuck somebody with these new rappers now? Yeah, I love them. You like them? I love them. Who you fuck yeah. with I now? I, I he fuck gonna name somebody old. Ja Rule, no, no, I no, fuck with Ja Rule. No, 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 no. He has some things. Before I go on stage, I go to Hyphy. Okay, you know, I okay. go to Hyphy Station on yeah. Pandora and go uh -huh. Hyphy. So, you know, yeah. and just, As you know, you all the way, whoop, that gets me going. Uh, everybody don't understand the hy Hyphy. Yeah. So I, can't, I don't play that to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, regional. You know, you know, it was regional. Yeah. You know, shout out All Black. Shout yeah. out yeah. Uh, yeah, Sonny, Man. Yeah, Sonny Bo just performed <laughs> on the Hyphy tour. Shout out Mr. Fat Man for booking yeah. Sonny Bo yeah. on Mr. the Hyphy Fat, tour. Mr. Fat got a nice little new single out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He got all type of slaps, man. I like that new little out. That's another nigga that got game. And oh yeah, we all got game, knowledge man. that you can't get a call. That's why yeah. I got the game that's, from. Pop my pops. <laughs> you feel me? My uncles. You understand yeah. me? Uh, right. uh, Mr. Fab. Mark, you done gave me some game too. Yeah, I, yeah. It's some little shit that you told me about four, five years ago. I still keep on my pocket. You understand me and pull it out <laughs> when I need to. Then, then you, you know, with the um, how did you get into the uh, Def Jam? Did I get you in there? How did I? Get... I no, I got in there, and then when I seen you, you got me right. You got me a better seat in that motherfucker. So then you met everybody. Yeah, that's hard. We met everybody. You introduced me to Martin Lawrence, man. I no, never that's forget. Fire. That's that's why I'm like, damn. Yeah. Mark really is that nigga, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. 
Mark, I'm, I thought I was the nigga. I'm yeah, like, nah, nigga, so I'm the funny. nigga. I'm the section. <laughs> so I'm funny. like, no, Mark, <laughs> Mark hard. really solidified. He real legend out this motherfucker, man. Hard. So I appreciate that, man. I don't yeah. want to hold you up too long, man. I just, yeah. you know, glad you just came through. Yeah. Uh, pop shit, you know, having a good time with us. Um, a lot of people don't even know we got a relationship because I don't think we ever did nothing on. Well, we did do too much. I don't. Yeah, do one it. thing is yeah, with uh, with too short. Oh, oh yeah, we did do that yeah. commercial. I remember that. We did do a skit. We did, we did, we did that shit for verses with Too Short and E40. Mm -hmm. We and did them. something else, and we did a skit in Hollywood. But that was like, I ain't gonna lie, that there was like seven years ago. <laughs> Who did it? Was it was it? at the Comedy Store, and we did a skit. And you told me, and we it was, the skit was like basically about. I'm like. What's up, Mark Curry, man? I'm from Oakland, man. I'm trying to get a TV show, man. Yeah. How I get the show? He was like, you want to get a TV show? Steal a car. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, come on, nigga. We stealing a car. <laughs> we got to show the clip. Yeah, we got to put that Bip in there, man. Yeah, show the clip of that skit, man. <laughs> oh, my mama. Quan, you got That's anything you want to say before we get up out of here, hey, man? Nah, man. I'm, I'm going to say to you, shit. thank you for no, those thanks. words. Because I didn't realize, you know, until later, till guys your age come yeah. up to me and say that. Yeah. yeah, and you know the young dudes ain't gonna say that, but you, you know, yeah. you you been, in, you know, you know about life and you. Yeah. And so a lot of people say, I'm like, what you say? And, you know, you know, thumb up as a nigga. You was my father coming up. And yeah. I just I just started hearing that. Seemed yeah. like the last five years, yeah. the last couple of years, you know, <clears throat> and that blows it's, me away. It's because yeah. I, I I like, like that's why I have a lot of problem with niggas out here. Mm -hmm. In different spots because niggas don't like to be honest. Yeah. One thing I'm going to be honest about, man, for me to get into this shit, I had to look up to people like you for setting an example right. and being authentically fucking funny, being yourself. Right, right. So, bro, like, if I'm ever around you or anybody that I, that I love and I fuck with that does this shit, I'm going to be honest and tell you, I, I don't feel like I'm goofy or nothing because why? Nigga, you you gave me something to pursue what I'm doing. Wow. Yeah. So you got to be able to nah, give those real. flowers because at the end of the day, let's say this. If I had an opportunity to tell you something, I was around you and I didn't. And then, you know, like how, how, how like when things happen to motherfuckers or whatever. Yep, niggas yep. Wanna, and then you get oh, the opportunity bro, I, to say no, that. No, I'm going to tell, tell you now yep. and I'm going and, and to say right. what you did because at the end of the day, God could have sent me to send you a message. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you the truth, bro. Yeah, nah, right. for Thank real. Thank you for everything. Yeah, you nah, you appreciate it in this game, Mark. And, for real. And, and, I appreciate and setting, it. setting the fucking foundation for this nigga, bro, yeah. because yeah. he's the only nigga of this generation that's doing this shit, and it had to come from somebody that. I paid the reference. way for you, nigga. You I, paid, Mark. Nigga. You really paid. Bring me an East Mile Mile, nigga. Mark, you yeah, really paid the way mom, for me. Nigga, my, but my, my, in my head, I'm my, thinking my, my, my. I paid the you way. For you. I, I didn't know and what he Mark. done. Yeah. I didn't even know his story. Yeah. I just knew yeah, Mark. Yeah, Mark, Mark Whitney, yeah, Paul, 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 none of that. I didn't know. I thought I was the nigga, Mark. I paid the way. Nigga, Mark Burr wasn't on that freeway with me, nigga. I was by myself. Right, right. I dropped my tears on my own. Yeah. I was on the freeway. Wait, listening to uh, uh, EPMD. Mm, that was your that was your little playlist. So you got to LA, huh? Chill. Yeah, you know, too short, of course. Yep. Two, what was it? it? Was a cassette? No, two steps on CDs. Yep. So we listen to short. You know. That's how you get close <laughs> with them artists, man. That five hour drive from yeah. the Bay to LA, man. Too short. Dude. All I had on that road was well, Meek I... Mill, Nipsey, <laughs> and uh, who was my third nigga? Meek Mill, Nipsey. Nipsey, Nipsey. I was off Nipsey and Meek Mill for sure. Yeah. And my and shit, Jay Z. Sometimes you gotta right, slap in right. that hole when yeah. you trying to accomplish some shit. Yeah. Like, nigga, <laughs> nigga, I gotta slap Jay Z because nobody right. understand what I'm going through right now. These I had square them I, We had shit like friends. <laughs> How many we of us have been? <laughs> he, on, he on Highway Five slapping friends like, what? <laughs> with friends nobody. <laughs> two, two house speakers. I had two house speakers what? in the back. Yeah. These are the tales. That's the crazy. We got tales. similar stories at different times. <laughs> too short. I want to give a shout out to Short. Short oh, yeah. was shout the out one who, gave short, me, who, made, who made me famous. Mm, come me, on. In his video, mm. Too Short video, I ain't tripping. You know, I became, I became, I was a legend then. Mm, That's right. Legend Local 89. legend before you got to. What? Exactly. What? Yep. Damn. I was in Too Short video. Damn. Thank you, Short. And that's two short videos. <laughs> what? 
We good. got so many, and, and this is stuff that I didn't know. We got so yeah. many. Shout out Filthy Rich, man. Shout out, uh, you know, the whole live wire, really. You know, I done came up yeah. with the rappers, man. Yeah, you understand wire. me? <laughs> All of them right. niggas, man, that looked yeah. out for me. But of course, Mr. Fab, man. Mr. Fab yeah, Mr. played Fab, a big baby. part of my career. You understand me? Just fucking with the rappers and, and you know, like you saying, man, getting the opportunity to perform in front of Mr. the rappers, Fab, I'm being sorry, in I went in your skits. store and I stole the shirt. Oh, well. <laughs> when I went in there, when I, when I went in there with my sisters, remember my sisters, we stole the shit. Fab gonna want that money. I'm sorry, yeah. I know Fab. That nigga so. hustling <laughs> ass nigga, man. Hey Fab, I'm gonna help you out, man. I got a, I got, a, I got a Nova for you. Yeah, I'm already paying. Oh, oh, oh me, Fab. I'm a mama, Fab. Yeah, man. So we gonna make it happen, though, man. Yeah. Um, I right, gotta get a shout out, shout out a couple of rappers. I know, oh yeah, uh, shout out your shit, man. Uh, 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 Denny Delta eighty eight. That's my boy. Uh, mm -hmm. another guy, another dude, another true in Vogue, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm bullshit. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, like, he was like, like, he was like, like that. Like, he was yeah. being honest. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's why I we didn't say nothing. I don't know like them that. niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to disrespect yeah, them. Yeah, right. hey, but nah, but Third but, Avenue in the house. Oh, marvelous! Mm, we made it, baby. Oakland, California. Look at look at this. Yeah, we made it. Yes, LA made, legend, it. Man. LA oh, made oh, it. LA made it. Oh, my mamas, man. What's up? What's up? Man? It ain't right. too many of us, man. But it's Thug Mansion, man. Hey, you understand me? Huh? Just, just real quick. Uh -huh. That's the reason why I fuck with Bay niggas. I didn't realize uh -huh. it. But nigga, my favorite movie that inspired me, Menace yeah. to Society. Uh -huh. You know, nigga, it was. 75 cent of like Oakland niggas in that film? No way. Hell no. Nah. Too short. And it was a few other Short niggas. was the only nigga front of town in that movie. No, nah, it, 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 it was. It was. Menace is society. society. I thought you was going to say the Mac, baby. Nah. Yeah, the oh, Mac. Oh, the Mac was nigga, the Mac, too, man. No, hey, bro. Yeah, man. Bro, the Mac, you, man. We need to remake that motherfucking yeah, Mark. Exactly. What, 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 was it the nigga mm -hmm. Harold from, from out there, too? The nigga Harold nah. Karen Kelsey got killed? I don't think so. I'm not, I'm I not sure. Swore it he been. was. If he is, that nigga a legend. Yeah, but, but I don't know. We it's a small it's a small Bay Area, but, man. Nigga, we all know nigga each other. Short was in Watts, nigga. Oh yeah, we know Short was in. So that Watts, so that shit is. is you got is, you is, got is, a story you, about the Mac? Um, let me. Um, uh, the Mac. Yeah, the movie, the Mac. Well. Not I, me. I lived the movie. <laughs> I lived it. Yeah, <laughs> man. He said yeah, I lived it. Movie. I lived it. I lived it because that was my era. Yeah. yeah. So I lived that era. Yeah. I remember the cars. I had a I had a seventy four Lincoln sitting on whites for uh, for years. I had yeah. a, That's hard. a sixty caddy. I always kept a car. Yeah. I, you know, I had a sixty caddy. I always my daughter's like, what kind of, what is this thing? I always kept big cars. Yeah. But I went big through bodies. that. That's what yeah. I grew up with. Yeah. I, I grew up, to, even the preachers, if you look at, uh, uh, what was the name? Shit, half of the preachers was pimps before yeah. they was preaching. They weren't pimps, but they had pimps. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They were Nigga, pimp. Yeah. You know what? God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like you was a pimp three weeks right, ago. Right, man. right, right, right. <laughs> so I went through that, uh, that whole era. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 what were we talking about? What were we talking about? Okay. We... Uh, no, nah, I just said the bullshit about uh, just me and society, like how we got the connection, me and you. Yeah. LA nigga, Bay nigga. Yeah. Just from that, like that's how I, that's how I knew about Too Short was from that movie. I didn't know about him before. Oh, Until damn. Until my mama told me. Oh, yeah, but you on some young nigga yeah, shit. So, yeah, like, so like. I'm so old. I did a thing with Too Short. I don't know whose album, I think it was Ice Cube's first album. Uh -huh. Oh, Too yeah. Too Short's first album. If you go look back, Ice Cube came to Oakland. Mm -hmm. And I was a comedian. And I guess Too Short, you know, it was Ice Cube, before he was Ice Cube, came to Too Short, and they did a either a song. I think, I don't I think, I don't know who did the song. I think Ice Cube did the song. You can look, look it up on Google. Yeah. I mean, it was 1988. Damn. Damn. Yeah. That's what a guy, Ice Cube, <laughs> came down to Oakland and hung with Too Short. Yeah. Too Short was bigger than Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, at one point, for sure. Yeah. yeah. That was the first yeah. time I was on TV, Too Short. That go then, crazy. Then Apollo, yeah. I went to Nation's Quarter Pound You did burger. do the motherfucking Apollo. Yeah, I did a Quarter Pound. I, I remember I, I was coming in a Quarter Pounder right on 98 for, what was that, Quarter Pound on 89th or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's still there. Mm -hmm. I walked a quarter pounder, get a little quarter pounder, you know, late night. And the girl said, 
Oh my God. <laughs> we just saw you. you. You was on TV. Let me get your autograph. <laughs> that's how that's how the that's how the hoochies used yeah, to talk yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Oh my, my God. God. Yeah. Oh my God. But that was the first time I ever signed the autograph. <laughs> that's that's right. Right. Yeah. yeah. It blew me away because I was back at Payne State the next day. Yeah. I used to go kill that's crazy. do Coliseums and be at Payne State the next People say yeah. you were good. You were good. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. that shit used to fuck me up. Nigga used to do a viral video. Nigga used to go, go viral. Sonny Bo, nigga got to yeah. go to work the right. next day. Motherfucker. Right. Oh my God, you the nigga with that your ass? I'll do this. Right, right. <laughs> well, I got to right. quit this motherfucker. Right, it's over right. now. Hey, I'm now. too popular to be <laughs> sitting at this motherfucker, man. <laughs> right, right. I got to get up out hey, of there, man. We got to talk, nigga. We, we one in the same niggas. Nigga, when you was popping, working at the warehouse, nigga, yeah. I was working at the warehouse in LA. Oh, what, 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 what warehouse were you working at? I was working at Kimco Staffing. Kim Cole staff, and then I worked at American Apparel on Alameda, across uh -huh. from like Two Short Shit. Uh -huh. You know that big ass pink building. Uh -huh. I was working there, nigga, packaging up t shirts. Yeah. See, LA dudes had better jobs than with us. <laughs> they had job. <laughs> they got they more get, opportunities. Yeah, you guys had hey. better cars back back when I was Man. coming up. LA dudes had cars. You guys were <laughs> incredible with really? the Really? We had a certain type of car in the Bay. When I, I, I had a Volkswagen coming up. I was mm -hmm. a Volkswagen crowd. I mm -hmm. was just, I, you know, I knew other cars, but I had a VW. I was, it sound weird, but I had a little bit VW. <laughs> but you go to LA, back in the day, them dudes had all kind of cars. Really? Yeah, back had. in the day, in Oakland, we didn't have the whips? Oh, we had whips. Not everybody, dope dealers. Remember, yeah, the dope dealers. Yeah, yeah right? Hey, but they, you said everybody had it. Los LA. Angeles, they had, they had <laughs> everybody. Had. They had cars. Like, damn. That was kind of car that Afro Romeo. Damn, nigga. Back in the day, we had a box Chevy. We was, we was scrapers. We yeah. had scrapers way before you. Facts. We call them big, big boys. Y'all used to call them hoopties. <laughs> you know, nigga, I got my hoopties. Yeah. No hubcaps. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we, niggas got to bring back, honking, nigga. Yeah, the real OGs, right. nigga, they dip up out of there, hump. Bye -bye. But we couldn't, Bye -bye. Do no, we couldn't do no donuts. Young niggas don't even know how to hump. Donuts. We didn't have enough horsepower. <laughs> we couldn't swing no LTD. <laughs> You swing, you can't swing the LTD. Fuck up the suspension. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with that suspension. That's a, my pop said he had a, a, a car that didn't reverse. You feel me? So the nigga can't, you can't reverse, nigga. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's times have right changed. There. <laughs> but I want to say, Oakland, I, we see, I see the WIC program mm -hmm. and the Black Panthers started the free food program, mm -hmm. which became the WIC program. And I was a part of that. And I, I, I always wanted to tell somebody that because I remember the Black Panthers handed me food. Yeah, it that's crazy. It was part of free pro yeah. program. Uh -huh. I always wanted to say that because I I saw, you know, I was looking at some facts and it was about the WIC program. The Black Panthers, I mean, would give us free food. And that's how I grew up. My comedy was different because we had the Black Panthers. Facts. We had the Muslims. Mm -hmm. We had the pimps. We had the hippies. We had the Hells Angels. Yeah. We had all these people. To influence me. Yep. Hey, that's amazing, Facts. bro. Yeah. People that's don't know amazing. how much influence that the Black Panthers and the Pimps yeah. got out there for sure. Yeah. Dope nah. dealers. Oh, my uh, mama. My, my boy that passed away, Bob, he's mm. originally from Oakland. Okay, yeah. And, and and he was a part of the uh Black Panther movement. Yeah. And he came, that's why, like. That's why that Tupac documentary, yeah. Dear Mama, that shit yeah. was crazy. Yeah. Show niggas like. I mean. Mama's nigga, you come out there, yeah. you gotta stand for something, nigga. I mean. I have a story. You know I got stories. <laughs> Get I your stories off, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got a Tupac story? I got a Tupac story. Uh, Believe it or not, with Tupac, I was doing the Apollo. Yeah. And I brought all my sisters down. My whole family, my, all my sisters and my mother down to the Apollo, had a room, you know, gave them rooms and, you know, and so we walking down the street and Tupac was filming um, the basketball movie. Yeah, Above the Rim. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah Above, the, above rim. the Rim. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we were same hotel and my sisters saw him, he from Oakland, oh my God, how you doing Tupac? They were touching his eyebrows, I remember that. <laughs> so look at you, you know, he was respectful. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, I saw him on the set, he said, come by the set. So I came by the set in his room, and he wrote, Dear Mama, and I'm not, I would never lie on Tupac. Come on. If I'm lying, he said, look at this, man. I just wrote this piece of paper, and bam, it was Dear Mama. Damn. I'm not lying. Come on. Look at that. That's a hell of a story. That's crazy. 
That's, that's raw. Pac, nigga. Yeah. Hey, nah, hey, nah, hey, nah, hey, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn a little nigga. You a boy for that for sure. Yeah, mama, Cause that's nigga, that. that? Yeah. Come on, First man. That's love. Did, they did the Apollo. He was with Digital Underground. I was the host. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pac was, was there. And Oakland, <laughs> Oakland came in. Yeah, Oakland came in. That's that was the first time I smelled weed at the Apollo. Damn. Everybody <laughs> smelled weed, but when they came, I was like, They yeah, really I smelled like they left the soil. Years. Yeah. <laughs> they turned it out. Digital Underground turned that That's out. That's wrong. They hard. legends, too, man. Yeah. They legends. Yeah. Shock G. They, 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 Shock put on, G they, put on, they put on masks. Yeah, he a big influence with Sonic yeah. Boy, too, because I realized, I'm like, oh, they two different niggas, but he's oh, the same person. I never knew that as yeah. a kid. Oh, my kid. mama. Yeah, and that's how Sonic Boy is. There's people really that don't know Sonic yeah. Boy me. And I like, <laughs> I embraced that because of Side G and how he did the yeah. little Humpty Hump yeah, shit. Humpty, Humpty yeah. was huge. That shit was raw. I don't mean, that. So shout out Side oh, G, man. He that's did crazy. the ground. Yeah. On my mama And that's Pac funny. was a real nigga, because when he got on, he still kept them around and put yeah. them on songs. Feel me? So yeah, right, I fuck right. with that whole little movement, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Bay Area, baby. Hell yeah, Bay Area, man. Uh, <laughs> fucking comedy icon, you understand me? Bay Area legend, Oakland legend, man. Mark Curry, man. I appreciate you coming Thank through you. fucking with Cops, us, man. Comedy Club. Yes, Lord. June 9, 10. Come He's fuck there. with us, you understand yeah. me? The on real Mark Curry on Instagram. And, we, and yeah. we pushing this do too much ENT, you understand me? <laughs> Out of Oakland, California, man, you understand me? So we push an issue on this movement, man. You already know what it is, man. Damn. Yeah. Got your Mark, own movement. You Thank already you. know. We'll be having my movement coming up. Mr. Yeah. Peter Mark Curry <laughs> movement coming up for the, for the seniors. <laughs> Not for the seniors, but for the, the older crowd. <laughs> Our high feet, this is high feet, just using your hand. Like, all the dudes who hyphy now, you see them dudes now, and they necks all messed up. Yeah, them niggas old, man. Them hyphy right, niggas OGs niggas now. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> niggas ain't hyphy no more. Yeah, <laughs> they ain't hyphy no more. They need some icy hot, yeah. nigga. Fuck ah. Nigga went from hyphy to icy <laughs> hot. <laughs> That nigga stupid. No bubbles. <laughs> it's your boy Lewis Bell, man. Make sure y'all keep tapping into the episode. Lewis Bell, why so It's the sir. Cali Kickback. We out this thing. Yeet! Chase that bag. Yeet!